Hey guys, it's uh, Marshall with you again, and uh, in this video I just wanted to do an update on my How to Build a Persistent World kit. Um, <clears throat> there's been some changes, and I figured I'd throw a, uh, an extra video on the end of the playlist to, uh, to go through those changes. Uh, one of the biggest changes uh, that has occurred since, the, uh, since I originally released those videos is that uh, the Dropbox service has made some changes. So what I've got here on the screen is I've got a brand new Windows XP uh, computer, and we've just uh, gone through the uh, installation of you know all the uh, DirectX and uh, .NET and all that stuff, just like we did in the uh, previous videos, and then we went and installed Dropbox. Now um, the installation procedure for Dropbox box is the exact same as in the previous video however when you're finished the installation you'll notice something a little different from the original video uh, as of October 4th uh, 2012 Dropbox has decided to stop um, creating a public folder uh, on brand new accounts now if you've had a if you have a previous account if you have an account previous to that uh, you're fine you still can use your public folder however brand new accounts will no longer get a public folder but that's okay, there is a way around it. Um, so what they've done is they, they didn't actually get rid of the functionality, they've just made it so that you uh, don't get it when you create an account. But you can set it up yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's very, very simple. So again, as you'll notice here, you'll see the, you know, the normal photos and the getting started, but no public folder. All you have to do is open up a web browser, and you'll need to go to www.dropbox.com of course dot com slash enable underscore public underscore folder so just like that there www.dropbox.com slash enable underscore public underscore folder you hit enter on that and you'll have to sign in to your Dropbox account. So this uh, this sign-in will be the email address that you use when you set up your account and your password. So on this particular computer, I set this one up. And I put in my password. And sign in. And sure. And what that will bring you uh, is a button on this page uh, where you'll get a, the option to enable public folder. All you have to do is click that button and of course you have to do your verification of your email address so uh, what will happen now is I'm going to hit this send email and the Dropbox then sends an email to the address that you've uh, created on your account now the last time I did this it took a good 20 minutes for the email to actually show up uh, once it did it's one of those typical you know, you'll see it on, on lots of different sites, you know, uh, you create an account, they want you to verify your email address, and, you know, you go to the email, and you hit verify, and, and it's done. So, um, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to pause the video, wait for that email, and then I'm going to click the link, and uh, verify my email address, and then come back. So, I'm just going to pause the video right here until that email shows up. Okay, I'm back, and the email address uh, came in. Uh, the email came in, and I was able to verify it. And then I just closed my browser and, and put in that URL again: uh, www.dropbox.com/enable-public-folder. So you click sign in, <clears throat> and once again, it brings you to this button. You simply click that button, and you're done. What'll happen now is if you go back to your folder here, you'll notice that. Now this new public folder just uh, auto magically appeared, uh, and again it's just like the old system. So I go in here, and the how to use public folder file is there, just like in the previous video. I can right click on it, Dropbox, and copy public link, just like I used to be able to on uh, on my pre on my older accounts. So now your uh, your new account works just like the old accounts in the previous videos. So that's one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest changes. Um, so it's a little bit more of a hassle, but not too big a deal that you can't get around it. And uh, everything else in the previous videos uh, still apply. Um, but it's just basically Dropbox decided not to set these public folders up by default. But that's how you can get around it. So we'll close that, and we'll go through the next change. The next change is in re uh, with respect to... Um, my package install. I've I've made a couple of changes to it, and I'm just going to bring it up here. 
Um, first thing that you're going to notice right away that's different from the original videos is now there's two .NETs. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you install both of these. There's .NET 3.5 and .NET uh, 4. Um, some of the plugins that are in here now use both of these, like you know, um, NWNX uh, continues to use 3.5, but uh, some of the newer plugins will use uh, .NET 4, so you'll want to make sure you install both of these. Also under the Visual C, you'll see that there are now three versions of Visual C. You need to install all three of these versions uh, on your uh, Neverware Nights 2 server. <clears throat> so in the previous videos there was just the one version. Now you have to install all three. Again, same thing. It's as a result of some of the plugins that are installed in NWNX. Uh, there's this put these files in NWN folder. Uh, I've had a few people have trouble with this. They seem to miss this step so I'm going to um, pay close attention to it. In this folder, put these in NWN folder. There are four files. You're going to want to copy these files into your NWN folder where your NWN2 server lives. So you've got to copy those four files in here. That's a requirement. Um, things are just not going to work. Well, most things will still work right, but some of the Legends plugins won't work very well if you don't do this, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, what that does, or what that allows you to do, is in, WN, in the NWNX folder now there's this uh, Aurora Server NW script um, plugin and having those four files in there uh, is a requirement for these um, well most of them are but uh, what this thing does is it um, it'll actually it's kind of technical but the, the simplest version is is it stops using the NWNX interpreter for scripts and will actually use uh, Microsoft JIT um, and enhances your uh, scripting abilities uh, quite a lot. It's another Skywing um, masterpiece I had to say uh, for this. Uh, one of the biggest problems that I've ever ever encountered is the dreaded too many iterations issue in scripts with NWN script. Um, this Aurora engine will alleviate that problem. So you want to make sure you copy those four files in there and then when you fire up your NWNX for the first time you want to make sure it's working. Uh, one of the things that some people were doing is they were looking at the NWNX log file and they were saying oh yeah no all the plugins are loading okay and that's great but the problem is is though even though the Aurora NW script plugin may be loaded. It may not be working correctly if you don't have those four files in. So you want to make sure you're checking the individual uh, log files for each plugin to make sure that they're actually being loaded correctly. So each plugin will create a log file similar to the name. So this DLL is the actual plugin. This is the log file for it. This DLL is the plugin. This is the log file for it. So make sure you're checking the log files for each uh, of the plugins to make sure that they are loading. If you see any errors or anything in there, then something's not gone quite right. But that's uh, that's basically it um, for the big changes uh, since the last video. So I just wanted to update the videos to make sure um, people are not scratching their heads when they notice that the kit looks a little different from the original videos and the Dropbox procedure looks a little different from the original videos. So this uh, this is just an update for that and uh, again if you've got any questions you can contact me on uh, www.nwn2legends.com. Thanks for watching.